rolling this whole time. <laughs> Stares that last too long, awkward slips, and jokes lost in translation made for a whole lot of actors on the No Way Home set blushing from embarrassment. The perfection we see on screen doesn't look so slick behind the scenes. We're checking out 15 scenes that left Spider-Man actors feeling very awkward. <laughs> Number one. Look into my spidey eyes. Just try not to laugh while doing it. Well, it's easier said than done. One of the most awkward moments for Toby and Andrew to film together involved this very long, deep, and intense stare, which as we can see from behind the scenes, was a day filled with way more laughter than anything. Toby called it for what it was, explaining, It is weird staring at you for that long. The actors managed to hit their marks, but every single time they were rolling, it was just worsening how embarrassing the whole ordeal was. Number two. Tom Holland makes for a great superhero, but helping his taller co-stars can be tricky. And I'm the superhero. I'm supposed to look cool. <laughs> the fact that Tom's MJ Zendaya is taller than him made this particular scene an embarrassing challenge. He's supposed to gently, you know, rest MJ on the bridge and walk away from her. But that wasn't gonna happen because of just how significant their height difference is. I would land before him. My feet obviously hit the ground before he does. So Zendaya did what Zendaya does best. She stepped up to the plate and did what Tom unfortunately couldn't. And then I would sort of land like this and my feet would swing from underneath me and then she would catch me. <laughs> Luckily for Tom, he got to have plenty of cool looking moments throughout the rest of the movie. Number three. Who says you can't go home? There was a good, a good two year period where I, it was over. For me. Having accepted his MCU time was over, Charlie Cox was very surprised to have gotten the call from Kevin Feige, actually making sure the offer wasn't a joke. Luckily, Marvel's people got in touch with his people and Cox joined the No Way Home set. And nerves came along with it, especially when John Watts asked the performer to insert a significant pause in the scene, one that really worried Cox. He explained, I was a bit embarrassed, like, are you sure? I was going with the flow, but thinking, I hope it's not a letdown. And when he saw the movie in a theater, his worst fear came true. I must have been in one of the only movie theaters in America that had was dead silence. Fortunately, he was assured by friends and family that all the other screenings they went to had really positive receptions for the Daredevil actor being on screen. Number four. The Spidey suit can cause problems for more than just the person wearing it. Holland let something slip and it didn't go unnoticed. It all started with a stunt. That as a as a stunt is one of the most lame looking off camera stunts. To be fair, these actors were really all up in each other's business. You were like sort of sitting on my lap and then Jacob was hugging both of us. And in the midst of all that action, Holland had an embarrassing slip. Yeah, I farted on <laughs> me, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. It's tough, the suit's tight, the harness squeezes it out. Even though there wasn't much going on, Zendaya was close enough to know what had happened, without a doubt. Oh. I felt the rattle. Sorry oh. about that. Number five. Sometimes things get a bit lost in translation. Holland was in over his head, his Britishness coming through when he struggled to get a joke one of his co-stars made on set. There's a line where I say, I think I can fix you. Alfred Molina as Doc Ock had a stellar comeback about being fixed like a dog, but it just caused confusion and embarrassment for Holland, especially when Molina started making snipping motions with his hands. And I kept responding with like, no, why would you fix a dog? The term used for neutering a pet isn't the same in England, so it was really a case of cultural differences. Still, it made for quite an embarrassing shoot for Holland. So I was very confused. Every time he said it, I was like, why does he keep ad-libbing this line about yeah fixing dogs. Number six. Except this was kind of improv perfection in reality. Andrew Garfield was sentimental as could be on set, and who could blame him? But at one point, that emotion slipped out in the middle of a scene when he first said, Wait, 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 wait! I, I love you guys. <laughs> Did it land? Not so much as the others reacted oh so casually, leaving Garfield with his heart on his sleeve for everyone on set to see. Fortunately, the boys all had a good laugh about it, corpsing multiple times while trying to nail the take anyway. Given the fact that the scene around them is meant to be chaotic, but in reality, the full scene was taking place in front of a blue screen, well, it just makes it all that much more awkward. Number seven. He might be nimble, but he ain't graceful. Spidey Tom was all confidence, racing through the set only to land on his backside and take down a giant set piece with him. 
As if everything wasn't chaotic enough, the actor had to go and add more work for the set designer and put a delay in shooting, all because of one little goof. You can bet he was trying to keep his frantic action a bit more controlled after that incident. Number 8. Who is the most villainous villain? The one who put everyone on edge while filming was the one and only Willem Dafoe, bringing us the Green Goblin like we've never seen him before. Zendaya explained that Dafoe gave loads of actors on set a real fright. The filming of his epic battle with Tom was so much more embarrassing for all those cast and crew members watching and really being terrified by Dafoe's convincing performance. His portrayal may have embarrassed those frightened onlookers on set, but it made his terror in the movie that much better. Number 9. You gotta pay a price to look this cool. The reality is, sometimes the Spider-Man actors don't look cool at all. Zendaya caught Tom on set in his mask once, but without the helmet portion, and let's just say, it looks far from cool in this state. It just kind of collapses on itself, so it looks really interesting, to say the least. You also really are able to see how strange my head shape is. <laughs> Yeah. On top of that, Holland was always a bit embarrassed by the fact that the suit makes you look small in all the areas you don't want to look small. For Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, who were putting the suit on again after years, well, the intimidation and embarrassment of suiting up again was real. It was a really, really <laughs> scary thing to attempt, yeah. Especially just the costume. Number 10. Do shoes in the MCU have snow grips? We doubt it based on this footage of actors on set very clearly struggling with the addition of snow. Those boots are not made for winter walking, that's for sure. Cumberbatch had some particularly embarrassing slips. We've never seen Doctor Strange looking this clumsy before, and Tom has definitely had smoother moments as well. Number 11. Without CGI, some things just don't work. To accomplish what gets filmed, oftentimes, the actors will have to resort to awkward setups. But this was one that took the embarrassment cake. It's like, one day they will be something. <laughs> <laughs> but right now it's just two guys in blue suits. Yes. Tom and Zendaya were fleeing as two men in full blue trailed after them. Hilarious, yes, but also very awkward. To make matters worse... Then it's also like, he's called Colin, and he's <laughs> in a blue suit. It's all good, though. Colin in the blue suit, we appreciate you. Number 12. The throwback that haunts him. Tobey Maguire infamously injured his back to the point that he almost wasn't able to do his second film, which in fact was actually part of a plan to get a bigger paycheck. As punishment, the team for that movie called him out on screen with back pain jokes that were written into the script. Who could resist the chance to whip out that old chestnut again? Tobey was once again paying the price for the stunt he pulled all those years ago. Number 13. Okay. But just how amazing is he? Well, we think the most. Everyone loves a throwback to their past, and just in case anyone forgot, Andrew Garfield is the amazing Spider-Man. Maguire didn't let him forget it in No Way Home, whipping out the joke and managing to somehow film this scene without corpsing completely. Garfield took it all in stride like the class act he is. Number 14. Spider-Man vs. Spider, a tale as old as time. If Tom Holland got scared of a spider web on set, does that mean he technically scared himself? Either way, the fact that THE Spider-Man was so thrown by a spider web in the middle of filming his plea that could help him and his friends get a shot at going to school together, well, it was an embarrassing look to say the least. Number 15. These Spideys are staying tight-lipped. We have to know. Which Spider-Man is sporting a padded butt? The rumors have been pointing heavily towards Tobey Maguire, but these Spideys are bros for life. And all of them have been sure to not throw their Spidey brothers under the bus. Okay, well, maybe except for Tom, who let the little details slip in the first place. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Unless there is a web involved if you're Tom. Embarrassing, hilarious, and just another reason to appreciate No Way Home. Which of these embarrassing scenes was your favorite? 